Okay, Relentless Method, sit trap after event one. Marcus, your thoughts? Well, I, I must say that the Relentless athletes, they performed really well. Um, <clears throat> Angelica and went down in, in her first test, it was like, I think it was sort of her nightmare event. You know, being, being stuck on a treadmill for 2K, uh, like 10 <laughs> minutes. No, who would, who would like that? Nobody. Uh, but she performed really well. She, she was like uh, fourth when she came up on the treadmill, 13th when she won off the treadmill, and she finished fourth in the heat. And I think it's she amazing. got like a, a 24th placement out of 60 athletes in her worst kind of event. So I'm pretty proud of her. Yeah. She went really, she did really well, and she's. She even came up to sit with us in the audience to look at the other girls, and that rarely happens. <laughs> it's she, unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> she's pissed. Yeah. So, and then uh, <coughs> in the next up was Emma and Fudi, and uh, where uh, Emma went uh, really strong on on the running, and she she handled the the rope uh, pretty. Uh, I would say but she's <laughs> a power power athlete. Yeah, isn't she? she it, it was deliberate. She even had you know shock in her sports bra, etc. <laughs> she, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. She made a few mistakes in my opinion. But right. uh, when she pulled the sled, she could yeah. have been a bit smoother. Oh. Uh, but I think I'm not was sure. Was it nerves? Maybe so. You know, it's the first event, yeah. uh, so you need to like brush it off. And, yeah. Uh, Foodie struggled a bit more on the the sled. Obviously, was really heavy. Heavy for her. She's a uh, light bodyweight type athlete. That's yeah, not yeah, yeah, in yeah. her favor. So we are, but we are obviously rooting for her. Yeah, yeah. Um, She's gonna come back strong. Yeah, yeah. So um, I guess that was uh, the women's side. <laughs> then we, uh, to be honest, because uh, David is a bit of a shy person or shy, or whatever he's <laughs> like. He's uh, humble, humble person. Humble and closed up, and, and focused <laughs> on his thing. So we didn't really know what to expect from him, but. You know, I talked a, a shy bit with him prior to the event in the warm-up area, and you could you could tell that he was focused, yeah. uh, and he could uh, turn that focus into uh, performance out on the field. Yeah, uh, I think he finally finished second in the heat. Uh, like so, um, it was a world-class time. Yeah, um, haven't looked at the scoreboard yet, but I I think it's he must have held up well. Yeah, I think I think so. So, so. and in teams, yeah, and the teams, <laughs> you know, cross the stranda. So well, they sit in first place now. Yeah. Um, I think it's time for the these kind of athletes to understand how good they are. Yeah. They have been surprised in two events that they <laughs> came, you know, that they have uh, placed like top three. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, they're like un underachievers, if I may say so. Like they they are extremely talented. And they work extremely yeah. hard, and they've just been I wouldn't say unlucky in their careers, but they haven't had things going their way. Yeah, many of them at least. So in CrossFit Walleye we have Antonio who's also an ambassador from, uh, from Relentless. Uh, also she's crushing it. Also crushing it with an injured foot. You know, she's actually have a fracture in her foot, uh, which turned out after four four X-rays, uh, they finally found it. So she, uh, I'm, she I'm crazy. A, yeah, I'm amazed that she's she's even here and yeah. obviously performing like. Uh, I saw yeah. nothing. I didn't. I have no clue that she had a broken foot. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she obviously was a bit worried about the running and uh, being able to, you know, do pistols, etc. Yeah. But she, she handles it really well. Yeah. All right. So that was sort of a wrap up of test number one. Yes. And we'll get back to you with the other tests as the weekend progresses. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Well, <coughs> all right, relentless method, day one, after the second event, mostly. Yeah, mostly. Uh, so quick summary of how it's gone for our athletes and probably some other notables, maybe. Yep. What would you say has happened mostly today? Um, I'm uh, pretty surprised that Victor Longsford has been drinking during uh, an event. What? Uh, it's unheard of. Uh, Isn't that uh, against the law? Yeah, it's sort of against the law. Hmm. That's that's like one of the major things. Uh, besides that, they, they performed pretty well out on the floor. I think they came second and they are second overall after two days. So it looks like they're gonna totally <laughs> mess up if they are not qualifying for yeah, it. And that would be that would be a considerable drop. A uh, considerable drop. So uh, congrats uh, in advance, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Way to not, jinx not jinxing anything. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so but but they are really performing really well, and uh, it seems to be like a happy camper team, and it, which is like obviously uh, a great thing when you are competing together. They seem to be have a lot of fun uh, yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's important. Um, 
Individuals uh, or individuals? Yeah, well, uh, Emma Toll, uh, she took in a, went to win. Uh, she totally smashed it uh, and smashed her own ex expectations uh, as well. She did, did like 54 reps or something like that. Yeah, uh, precisely 54. Yeah. Um, and we chatted a bit before the event and she planned to do somewhere between 40 and 50. Uh, so. so I guess she's pretty stoked about that. Um, so. I don't know. Has she moved up into? Is she, she's first place. She's first place now. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty so, pretty awesome. That's also that's not trying to jinx anything, but it looks good. It, <laughs> it looks, looks good. really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty. Yeah. Um, Thirty. Yeah, she, uh, uh, from my perspective, she performed really, really well. Uh, I spoke to her after the event, and she was not completely happy. Uh, but that's obviously only her because we we love what she did. No, that was, uh, uh, that was but, insane. But I, I think she got a few narrow reps on the muscle ups that. Uh, <clears throat> that set her back from her initial plan. I think she did extremely well on the pistols. Yeah, she Very was. Very rapid. Uh, as soon as she came off the muscle ups, uh, she was one of the fastest out on the field in the pistols and the burpee box and bober. She yeah. actually, she was a bit slower than Emma, even though she did unbroken muscle ups in the first first set, uh, because she, she lands deeper in the dip. Oh. Uh, so it takes a little bit more time. But yeah. uh, as soon as she came out on the floor and doing pistols and burpee box jumps, she, she gained traction. So. Yeah. Um, it. Yeah, and uh, I've well, my spouse Angelica, uh, she had a rough. She had a rough second event. She did really well in the first, but her second event. So she, her plan was to come like last in the first event and to perform like top twenty in the second event. And you yeah. know, she had her plan to do like sort sort of forty burpee box and overs, and she did zero. So when I came out in the warm up area, being a you know boyfriend coach, I was like expecting some mayhem uh, but she just laughed yeah. uh, she, it was like it's a, it was a big joke uh, to and I'm glad that she took it that way uh, because it's gonna make it everyone's lives easier this evening <laughs> and it's gonna be <laughs> and uh, I think she's gonna benefit from that uh, in the upcoming upcoming days she, it didn't hurt her performance like massively of course she dropped the 40, 40 second uh, but it's still uh, she can she can gain into top 30 with no issues I think. You know, yeah. oh, David. Yeah, well, uh, David he was like uh, <laughs> that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. He came out really hard and did 16 uh, burpee box jumps in the in the first round. Yeah. Uh, then he had some uh, uh, hiccups to say the least in the muscle ups in the second event. Yeah. And he did zero uh, burpee box jump in the second second uh, round. Second round. Uh, and then on the final. Uh, he he got it. He got it together. He got it together for some reason. I don't know what went through his mind, but he he picked it up, and uh, I think he got like 28 reps or something in the end. That's 27. Between 25 and 20. Yeah, and some, yeah something like that. Yeah. And uh, which is not dog shit. If you if you miss a round. Yeah, it's not dog shit. Not dog shit. Mm. And uh, I'm really happy for him that he was able to uh, to crank out those those reps because when you looked at the on all the other scores, you saw that like 25 reps were, there were a lot of people at uh, somewhere. Roughly that, 25, yeah. yeah. in that area. So a really good first round, yeah. rough in the middle, and then Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, mm. this is CrossFit, isn't it? Ups yeah. and downs. Ups so and downs. So we, we didn't mention CrossFit Walleye with Antonia. Yeah, 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 yeah. 11th in the last uh, yeah, yeah. event here. Yeah, they are, they are sitting pretty well. I think they are in the fifth or sixth place overall now. They're doing well. Yeah, but they're they, doing really well. They're probably uh, right where they want to be. They are sixth. Yeah, and Ant Antonia even has a fracture in the foot. Uh, we mentioned that. Yeah, we did that in the, first, in, yeah, in the yeah, prior. Yeah, yeah. so uh, right, I mean, yeah. sixth with an athlete yeah, but that I would, injured. What I was thinking is like doing uh, high box jumps with like a fracture that's, uh, you know... Uh, I think she, she must have wrapped it tight. So tomorrow Antonia is looking forward to be able to do like back squats and cleans and <laughs> an anything where you're like, you know, you're not fucking jumping. So, uh, yeah, so we're rooting for them as well. So All right. go, go Team Sweden, I guess. Yeah. Alrighty, we'll see you guys tomorrow and bye bye.